Hollywood cast. Welcome into the ESPY's red carpet presented by Bolt 24. Uh, I'm Cassidy Hubbard and I'm alongside my beautiful, gorgeous, talented friends. Best friends. Best friends. Keep it Kelly going. Nolan, Diana Rossini. Uh, guys, you know, the ESPY's, uh, people like to call them the, the sports prom. Yes. A and we got we got our, our prom dresses on. Been on this absolutely beautiful day in Los Angeles, California, outside Microsoft Theater in LA Live. The biggest stars in sports are making their way down as we're about an hour away from the 2019 SBS. Then you've got a guy like Miles Sanders who, when he's at Penn State, was moved around Run, the formation offense. They moved him into the slot. Run, they moved him out wide. So now you have a guy that can provide a Run, little bit of a Ruby different Run. dimension in terms of how he was used. He can do some things in the passing game, and that's really something that this Eagles offense will continue to look for is guys that can impact passing down, provide a big time weapon for Carson Wentz in the passing game. Especially when you've got those two tight ends on the field, Amy. We'll talk about 12 personnel and all the different matchups it can create when you've got Zach Durst and Dallas Goddard on the field. Now you put a guy like Miles Sanders in the game, and now you don't know as a defense, are the Eagles going to run the ball or are they going to throw the ball? Miles Sanders gives you that versatility. That's one of the most exciting parts about this trip. What I love about Miles Sanders, Amy, is that he is extremely well-rounded. 5'11", 211 pounds. This guy went to the combine, had a very good workout out in Indianapolis. And what really stands out to him for me is his ability to make the first man miss. Very slippery in the open field. He's not afraid to lower his shoulder into that first defender, run through first contact. He loves to pick up those extra yards. With the 53rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Miles Sanders, running back, Penn State. Dear mom, when I was young, you told me to ask myself if I had a dream. Ask, what am I willing to do? What am I willing to sacrifice in order to achieve that dream? And how badly did I want it? When I first learned that I loved the game of football, you were there. Still the Sundays were a holiday for us. You watched me soak it all in, raising me, as well as my sister and my two brothers with reggae music floating through the house and your famous chicken Alfredo on our plates. Then when I started playing football, a freshman on the Woolen Hills varsity team, you were there again. It was more simpler back then, but you were always in the stands, calling out of work, making sure that you were there to watch our games and driving me around the country for camps. When I started getting scholarship offers, you made sure to learn how the system worked, protecting me while still letting me grow as a young man. When I went to get your name tatted right here on my wrist, you were there. I mean, you, you were the one that dropped me off to get the tattoo. And now you're there forever on my wrist for every handoff carrying the ball with me into the end zone on every touchdown. And when I went to Penn State, you were there also. You were crying your eyes out on my first day of college. And I still had a photo of us, tears in your eyes, but face still glowing with pride. We talked on the phone every day, and you never missed college games. Well, now I'm in the NFL, and you're still here, still watching that Pennsylvania-style football that you love, only now in the crowd with Eagles Green, which is kind of weird. I'm a pro football player now. This was my dream, like you asked me all those years ago. So now I'm honored to thank you for all your sacrifice for that dream. In my eyes, you gave everything you had. Time, finances, love, and wisdom. You're my rock. You're the reason why I'm living my dream. Let's keep dreaming together, Mom. I love you. First time Miles put on pads, he was seven years old. He, he signed up late, so I had to put him in number 98. We were hurting for linemen. So he fit right in as a lineman. He was a, bo he was a body for me. And halfway through the season, you know, I kind of got a call from his mom saying, hey, Miles wants to play running back. I knew I would need a running back for the next season, so I started, I started working him in. And then after watching him, I realized he can play running back. So I ended up uh, the following year, gave him the number one jersey, and he was my starting running back. Yeah, prime time. What's up, <laughs> What's up, prime time? Hey, you know why we talking, baby? You ball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 156 yards of scrimmage, man. It, it seemed like you was doing it all, man. And if this were green, I would not wear it, but I will wear this proudly. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, I must grudgingly admit, yeah, 
really good rookie year. And this is the ultimate compliment I can pay to this man is you scared me as a Cowboy fan because every time you touch the ball, I start thinking, uh -oh. <laughs> this is not good. Something good is going to happen to you were slack. After all week talking about it, I might just go the purest way. I think the Eagles are winning in, and I don't Straight think in. it's because of Ernst, and I don't think it's because of wins. I think it's because the NFL's new superstar, Miles Sanders. I'm here for the Miles Sanders show, but I know at 7.30 p.m. Sunday night, yeah. before we get to that mm -hmm. Sunday night extravaganza, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. NFC East is going to be wide open. Hey, when you get in the playoffs, that's when you become a household name. That's when everybody starts to know you. You know, with your last name, you know you got to have game, right? Yeah, it got yeah, you. Yeah, you, you know. You can't be walking around there with sandals on your back, half step. You know that, oh, right? Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no, I know that. I know that. Do you think the Eagles have a chance to beat the Seahawks this weekend? No. Right. But for them to be able to have success, Miles Sanders is going to need to be 100%, and he's not going to be that. Him limping around. You playing Sunday? Play on Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. So you feel like you're definitely playing on Sunday? Yeah. Walk through, want me to come through. That's the role lane. What you gonna do when the money throw on Shorty? Don't keep telling me what you gonna do. Run, run, Then I go through. I ain't phony. You gon' do. What the who? I ain't homie. Land man, he got track cam. About the phone. I ain't no cap, and I spent your ad